Hey everyone, so I have this uh, PlayStation 3 over here. It's a one of the popular CECH A01 uh, PlayStations uh, that are backwards backwards compatible. Uh, this one is non working. So, what I'm going to do is uh, take it apart and uh, show you. Uh, where uh, there's some money in one of these things. So, let's pop this little cover over here out. Nice and simple. Pops out nice and easy. That's where the hard drive is. So you have uh, some scrap value with this hard drive. It's pretty much a uh, laptop hard drive. So, so you have little gold fingers here, uh, you obviously the board, the aluminum inside and whatnot. So let's remove this security tab. Obviously if uh, this was somewhat working, uh, you'd be able to sell uh, obviously the parts for a lot more, but uh, for the video, I'm gonna pretty much scrap everything. And I'm probably gonna make a video for each uh, piece that's found in one of these PlayStations. There's a power supply, there's a Blu ray drive, a few other smaller boards, and whatnot. Uh, pretty much to undo one of these, you need uh, a typical Phillips screwdriver, and you also need a Torx uh, bit or screwdriver uh, to remove the security. Uh, screw over there so here on the top we have seven screws these are easily taken out For the time being, uh, these actually these screws are actually sellable. These are not common screws, so you can sell them as PlayStation screws uh, pretty much anywhere online, and uh, you'll make definitely more than scrap value on those. We'll put those aside. So yeah, these little tabs over here, and you can just pry it open. got the top off. So now over here we have the Blu-ray drive, we have the power supply, we have a few little boards uh, that do have a little bit of gold on them. I'll show you where. So I'll take the Blu-ray drive off. So right away we have some gold over there on the ribbons or at least on this ribbon and some of the other ribbons on uh, on the PlayStation uh, like you can see this is the blue drive under you get a nice little board with some monolithic, monolithic capacitors some IC chips uh, these connectors here are gold but I'm gonna go through that in another video so Let's remove some of these screws. So we got this little board. Uh, I can see there's some uh, monolithic capacitors, uh, very small IC chips. There's definitely some gold in this connector over here. And again, 
some gold on uh, the tip of the ribbons here. Uh, we've got this little card reader board. Fortunately, these aren't too valuable uh, unless you get extremely lucky and you find someone that really needs one of these. These don't usually break down very often or at all practically. This one has some good gold definitely. Some scrap metal over here. So in each of these little uh, metal I guess casings there's definitely gold. There's some gold right there. All these connectors are gold, gold, uh, little gold bits on the board. Uh, there's a few monolithic capacitors, uh, some more gold here, the IC chips, so it's, it's decent, uh, nothing too, too special, but there's definitely gold on there. So here we have the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi or Bluetooth uh, board. It has obviously a ribbon and the ribbon has uh, definitely some gold on it. Uh, then if we see here we have a nice chip over here that definitely has gold on it. Uh, some gold in here too. Monolithic capacitors. Uh, some gold here in the connector. Power supply, pretty easy. So this is one of the types of power supply you'll find in this type of PlayStation. This is the CECH A01. Uh, there's about six or seven different of these uh, models in the uh, different various PlayStation models. Surprisingly, I found that this top is aluminum but uh, as uh, like the blu-ray drive I'm gonna make another video on uh, this so now let's get to the main scrappable part here which is the motherboard get rid of some of these screws Again, these screws are uh, quite specific to the PlayStation, so you can sell them uh, as PlayStation screws and get more money, uh, obviously, than scrap value. You can see you have a few uh, cables like that. Uh, not much gold, but at least you can scrap them with your wires and whatnot. So. What we have here, below we have a little battery. Uh, we have the heat sink, uh, which is pretty much all aluminum. It's a nice chunk of aluminum, it's at least a pound. Uh, even when you remove uh, the plastic bits. Uh, here we have, it's I guess, power jack or on and off button on the back. Uh, you've got some cable. I have never opened these, but uh, there might be some uh, silver in here because it's a switch. Not too sure what kind of metal this is. Uh, probably zinc or brass. I can't really tell. And I'm not too good with the metals yet. Uh, I'm pretty new at the scrapping. So let's remove the heat sink clamp. pretty much got a piece of metal here uh, definitely not stainless because I've seen quite a few of those rusted <laughs> so let's remove a little battery here
and uh, on the heatsink I'm not sure if you guys noticed there was a fan and obviously if the fans not working you can put it uh, I guess in your copper bearing motor pile or whatnot or even open it up and take out the copper itself and whatnot let's take out this fan yeah. but uh, you can sell these uh, also for more than uh, the volume but they don't sell for much uh, profit wise you might make a buck or two at most after having to ship it and uh, whatnot uh, not too too valuable might not be worth the hassle so as you can see you have another piece of metal here uh, or steel I should say and uh, here's the heatsink so you definitely have some copper aluminum you have this plastic stuff you can remove the only thing that's actual metal on here are these little I guess supports if you want to call them uh, maybe you could remove them I leave them on there until now I haven't had a problem scrapping them as aluminum and obviously it's worth a little more than aluminum because of the copper here so now we have the motherboard uh, unlike a PC motherboard obviously the value is not the same but there's definitely some value uh, you have the IC chips here here you have a few more here uh, not uh, I guess you can call them flat packs here here uh, you got your CPU GPU uh, you can easily remove these uh, uh, I guess heat plates as they call them or at least that's what I've seen them called uh, these are obviously aluminum take them out and then you have the chip which has gold in it uh, you have a lot of monolithic capacitors these little small guys there's plenty of them and for some reason on the PlayStation they're practically all huge so the weight is pretty good on them and I usually get about four bucks per four ounces of these uh, and uh, there's quite a few on the PlayStation. You obviously have all the ports. These all have gold in them. The hard drive uh, port, I guess you can call it. That is gold. You have the USB ports in the front. Those have gold in them. And you have this little connector here. Uh, this one also has uh, some gold in it, some gold pins. Uh, gold wise that's pretty much all there is uh, there's these little guys here too uh, I don't usually take them out but uh, you could and they have gold in them too uh, the only thing that kind of fooled me about one of these boards was this here uh, these seem to be I guess brass plated not fully brass because if you put a magnet to them there's actually some some uh, magnets, the magnets still kind of pull or stick to these, so they're definitely not brass. So I was collecting them at one point, and I was like, "Let's see if they actually are magnetic, or am I wasting my time?" And wasting my time. Uh, also, there's quite a bit of copper. These little guys here, these are all copper. Uh, they break off pretty easy, and then you can just crush them very easily with. Uh, some pliers or whatnot, and I can get at uh, the copper pretty easy. Uh, what another thing these guys have quite a bit of is these guys over here. There's quite a few of these, and uh, pretty much they're uh, tantalum uh, capacitors. There's a value on them I haven't had much luck with them but I've heard people get quite a bit of money on them and also for the monolithic capacitors obviously there's the palladium uh, the palladium and the silver and the whatnot in those so those are those you should keep and I've had really good luck with them so that's uh, pretty much what's in a PlayStation and uh, obviously the more most valuable piece is the motherboard Obviously, if it's a working motherboard, uh, you sell the motherboard <laughs> working. 
this one was not working and it was not repairable or at least not by me so it's scrap uh, I just wanna thank some of the guys already on YouTube doing scrap videos uh, like Mike the Scrapper and uh, Moose Scrapper uh, before them I was actually throwing this stuff away I deal with um, uh, a lot of video game stuff uh, PCs and whatnot and uh, once they wouldn't work I would put them in a box leave them at the curb and someone else was making money from scrapping and I started uh, the whole reason I started scrapping is uh, I thought to myself these things must have some value somewhere so started looking on YouTube and I found those guys and uh, I started keeping all this stuff <laughs> My house, uh, I would say my garage has jam-packed now, but uh, it's worth it because there's quite a bit of money. These should, just without touching these, uh, you should probably be able to easily get 25 cents a pound uh, as medium-grade board. Uh, maybe your local scrapper might give you more. Maybe high-grade, I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty new to all of this, so... Uh, yeah, so happy scrapping, and that's uh, the first video on uh, PlayStation 3. Uh, uh, subscribe. If you have any questions, uh, send me an email. I'm definitely going to be putting up a few more videos, uh, uh, especially for the PlayStation 3. I have the Blu-ray drive and the power supply to go through. Uh, those shouldn't take too long. Uh, there's some good value in them, but not too, too much. Uh, and then uh, I'm just gonna keep on making different videos. Hopefully you guys like them and uh, Hopefully I'll keep on doing them so, Talk to you soon